Hey guys, it's Tiger here, and today we are going to be talking about the new announcement of Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Yay, let's all get excited, Black Ops 4 is announced, yay! Or, maybe not, let's actually talk about this. Today we are going to talk about the Black Ops 4 announcement, and what that means to Call of Duty, and let's just weigh up everything that has happened, and let's just try and get a discussion going on what this actually means. Now, if you do enjoy this video, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, as I'll be doing videos similar to this, as well as helpful tips and tutorials to help you guys become a better player in Call of Duty. But let's get straight into it. So, Call of Duty dropped a teaser trailer for the new up-and-coming Call of Duty game, what is Black Ops 4. Now, we pretty much knew this was coming, it was going to be made by Treyarch. It was most likely going to be Black Ops 4. I think some of us would have liked to have seen something different, even though Treyarch, Treyarch were making it. We thought, okay, they, maybe they could do something different, it doesn't have to be Black Ops to be a good game if Treyarch are making the game. After all, this is the company that the Call of Duty fans love the most. Most people believe that Treyarch make the best Call of Duty games. We've had had World at War, Black Ops 1, 2 and 3. In my opinion, I think it would have been nice if they did something different. I think most Call of Duty players aren't that bothered about the campaign, so it being Black Ops 4 is a continuation of that series with the same characters and things like that. I don't think most people care about that. I think it would have been cooler if they named it something different, or maybe they were just calling it Black Ops 4. They were just calling it Black Ops so people are relating it to its other previous titles. Maybe they didn't want to do it something completely different. They probably just called it Black Ops because they still wanted to keep the fans perspective, the whole image of the Black Ops series because a lot of people like that. So they're just trying to make sure that we're still loving this title because we know it's going to be Black Ops. Now, as soon as I heard this, I put a tweet out straight away. I'm just going to put it on screen now. Yeah, so as you can see, I'm really not that bothered. I literally couldn't give a fuck. In my opinion, it feels like World War 2 has just came out. It's still fairly new of a title. I'm still enjoying it. I'm still getting into it. Now, I know a lot of people hate it for lots and lots of different reasons. But I think this says something. I think this really says something about Call of Duty. That the fact that they are announcing Black Ops this early in March. And the fact that the game is coming out a month earlier. What well, means that World War 2 is going to have a shorter lifespan than the other games. I think that is also a very important part. But the whole thing that they're doing this so early. In my opinion just sounds like they just don't have faith in World War 2. If they're trying to back the current game. Then 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 this really isn't showing that at all. I know a lot of people are getting annoyed and they're just trying to create hype. They're just trying to get people excited about Call of Duty. And I think the fact that World War II isn't exciting people, it isn't it, it isn't exciting the fans. A lot of people are complaining. I know we've just had the we've just had Michael Condry and Greg Schofield leave. So I think there's just a lot of kind of like what's going on at the moment with Call of Duty. But the fact that they've done this just doesn't show a lot of faith in the current title. If I was Sledgehammer Studios, I'd be pissed. I'd be so pissed off. Like, this is your time. This is your one out of three years time where you're showcasing your game. And they're just completely changing the perspective onto another game. I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, hey, Activision, show my game. This is the current game at the moment. Get people excited about World War II. Let's promote something and let's do something cool with World War II. Let's not just try and move on. I mean, where's this going to get on to? Are we going to start talking about games two years in advance? Like, it's just... It's just stupid. And I also think it's a fair reflection of what the community wants. It just feels like Call of Duty fans are always thinking like grass is greener on the other side. We're always excited about the next title. It just feels like we're always excited about what's going to happen instead of what's currently happening. It just really frustrates me. Like, like yes, I can be a bit of a Call of Duty fanboy. I enjoy the game. I am enjoying World War II. Not because it's Call of Duty. Just because I'm glad that it's back on boots on the ground. It's World War II. It's not like a futuristic. I like the fact that what we're doing is kind of real it's like it's happened like world war ii is a real thing and some of the maps are based on real events in real life i just really like that and that's why i'm really enjoying world war ii i have much more of a connection to this game rather than a futuristic game like infinite warfare like that just doesn't relate to me as world war ii does it just it just makes me feel something different and i'm sure black ops black ops 4 is going to be i think it's going to be in like the modern era it might be like a few years in advance but it's still going to be kind of similar, it's still going to be modern, it's going to be relatable, but, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that Black Ops 4 is going to be a bad game, I'm not, I'm not dissing it, I'm not, 
It's not the fact that I don't want to play the game, it's just the fact that it's eight fucking months. That's fucking ages away. Why are we even talking about this? Like, it's just not important. I'm not excited about Black Ops 4 because I have eight months of the current game. The current game that I'm enjoying. I'm happy to play World War 2 and I'm sure a lot of you people watching as well are enjoying World War 2. Yes, it'd be cool to play another Call of Duty, but we don't need it just yet. You know, we're probably going to have about about two or three, maybe even more, kind of like in-game events, like the Winter event and the Resistance event. We're going to see more guns. We've got, what, two or three more DLCs coming. We've got COD Champs. We you know, we've got so many different guns and maps and new things that are going to be added into World War II. Why can't we just be excited of the prospect of what's going to happen with World War II? Because I'm pretty sure that the game that we're currently playing now is going to be different than what we're going to be playing in six, seven months time of World War Two. It's going to be different. There's probably going to be guns that are good now that won't be and we'll be playing different guns. It just excites me. World War Two excites me. And I just don't need to get excited about Black Ops 4 at the moment. It's just irrelevant. Like, it just seems silly to be excited about something that's just so long away, like eight months. The only time where we need to start getting excited about Black Ops 4 is in May when they do that community event launch thing. That's when we can get excited, you know, we're going to see something to do with Black Ops 4. And to be fair, I thought the trailer was shit, like they showed previous gameplay of World at War, Black Ops 1, 2 and 3, they showed lots of little clips to do with that, and then they said at the end, oh we're going to revolutionise and forget what you know, so they're showing us all the Black Ops stuff, and then just saying, yeah, yeah, forget about that. Like, what are you trying to do? Like, you're, you're, you've you're decided to stay with Black Ops 4, instead of go with something completely new, a completely new title, but you're saying forget what you know. Why don't you just completely tell us to forget and let's go with something completely new? You know, and just go with something absolutely completely different. If you want us to forget what we knew, why is it Black Ops 4 and not something 1? What, you know, something brand new? That just didn't make sense to me. Anyway, guys, please give me your thoughts on what you think of this. I know a lot of you are probably going to have different opinions to me. A lot of you would probably dislike this video because you hate World War 2 and you're really excited for Black Ops 4. Fair enough. I mean, I'm not saying that you're not allowed to get excited for Black Ops 4. My opinion is just too early. I think we should just enjoy what we've got. But give me your thoughts. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give it a thumbs down. If you really liked it, hit the subscribe button so you can see more content. But that is it for me today, guys. Take care and I will see you in the next one.